Hey guys, what is going on? It is Ando. Thank you guys so much for coming out to this video. And we are doing our final roster reviews. Um, if you guys were back with us back in, I guess, what would it be, two, two or three months ago, whatever it was, um, we started off with three rosters and we decided, like, hey, what we're going to do is we're going to roster review these every month, like on the Grand Arena uh, break, the week that we have for the break. And that, that we would see, like, you know, how far can each one of these progress? Uh, month two, so month one, we posted on YouTube to let everyone to see it. Um, month two, I just did a combined one because there wasn't much change to, like, my previous guidance. They were still kind of, like, working towards some of those goals. But um, I'm really pleasantly surprised by this first one, at least. And so we'll see exactly, like, where they came from. And I've got it pulled up. Like, I got the video pulled up right here. So we'll just go right into it, guys. Um, so you are now running a Padme um, lineup as your squad arena. And you are currently ranked 286. Now, yeah, you could probably climb plus or minus. But um, I'm just going to kind of go with the numbers that I have right here. Um, obviously, there's no real way of me telling. But like this still shows a tremendous amount of growth. Um, so back when we first originally did your roster review, you were running new Gunray lead, uh, all gear 12, by the way, new Gunray lead with Count Dooku, Asajj Ventress, Bastila Sean, which was kind of an interesting one, and IG-100. Um, and you were ranked 523, uh, a very big gap between where your arena rank is. And I'm certain that like you, once you get some of these other guys geared up, like you're going to still be able to punch up uh, higher than where you're at now, um, which is pretty awesome and even in your ships man like your ships although it hadn't changed the lineup much you are doing much better um you did add it looks like a star onto akbar and it looks like yeah you definitely changed your starting lineup i remember telling you some of this other stuff but i'm glad to see that you're finally like figuring your way out in fleet because that's a really important spot too especially if you can crack this 100 like if you're at 106, I, I can assume that you can punch up into the top 100. And, um, you know, any little bit of Zeta material helps. Uh, but, yeah, like, this is a great start for you. But, yeah, you were 281 when we first did our roster review. You are now 106. Uh, very, very cool. Um, just, like, as a little side note, I guess, you know, you're now Division 10. You were Division 11 when we first started. And you had 29k, uh, 29.6k lifetime banners. You now have 68.9. So, you know, considerable increases in, in, all, in all aspects, I would say. So uh, kudos to you on that. And um, let's just go into your squad arena. Let's see, like, where we can improve, what we can improve. Um, and, yeah, we'll, we'll figure something out, man. All right, so for Padme... I remember we talked about, you know, having health mods, so I like to see the health sets right there. And it's hard, you know, especially at a, a player at your GP, um, which we'll get into GP here soon. Um, it's it's difficult because mods aren't the easiest thing. They're not you can't just get good mods. Like it's it's kind of it's it's one of those scenarios where like time is only going to be the, the only thing that can really get you good mods like time and trials uh and a lot of times you need time to give you more trials so uh understand that yeah some of the stuff is not going to come but anywhere where you can obviously get the the flat health of the health percentages are going to be good spots uh speed uh is also good uh where are you currently sitting at so 247 so yeah um I run I personally run a slower Padme. Um, but uh you know that's not to say like it's a bad thing. There are some times where you know like some super super fast Drevens just they're too fast for me. But Padme is one of those squads where like her her speed can definitely be forgiven. Or lack of it, I guess. Um yeah, you know, like again, ideal mod would have this health percentage and you know flat health with some speed, but again, you know, like Baby steps, right? <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, health, health. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're doing the right thing. Uh, I would prefer to see a health percentage here as well um, as a primary or even crit damage, although she's not really known for her crit. Um, 
Yeah, and you probably got the 15 speed, um, but I you would prefer to see a health percentage there. And speed. Okay, cool. Alright, let's look at um, this guy right here. Okay, so right off the bat, you know, I'm totally cool with either offense or uh, crit damage, which you're running the crit damage one. Um, personally, I don't run a crit uh, chance. Uh, I run health, but that's just me personally. Um, he seems like he just is always going to get his crit. And, like, honestly, the way that I use Anakin is not really, like, trying to... Like, a lot of times I use my Padme to counter uh, Drevin with Mallet. It's almost like this thing where you don't want to crit because you want... Um, because that would end up fearing him, right? Uh, whenever you hit Malak. So just something to think about in the future. But yeah, here, um, just offense, stacking offense here. And anywhere that you can put health it is great. You know, like, this is this is good. You know, health percentage, offense percentage, speed, potency, all, all those. This is like a perfect mod for him, to be quite honest. Yep, offense percentage. Uh, health, yep, so that's good. And then, oh my gosh, that's amazing. So you took my recommendation of adding some potency onto him as well. Um, and it's got, this is a pretty good mod. I mean, you know, you got your offense percentage. That's a nasty amount of speed on him, honestly. And uh, stacking offense, so that's good. Uh, you know, the reason why potency, guys, is because a lot of times he only works when he's able to do this stuff. Um, and a lot of people will start to throw tenacity on Malik and stuff like that. So this just helps. Uh, between like Padme's stun, his basic, um, and then if you are running Yoda like you are right there, um, then he's got a stun as well that can be useful. Crit damage. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, man. Like it looks pretty good. And you got the, you know, your stacking potency. Honestly, a lot of these mods are really, really good. Um, so, so kudos to you for that on Jedi Knight Anakin. Okay. Okay, so you went with Hellset. You know, again, under a Padme lead, like, you can't really go wrong, um, with what she, she does. Um, but I personally just run some, like, I run an offense set on her. And, uh, I think at Hellset, I think it's pretty much identical to what I run with Anakin. But these look fine. Like, nothing out of the ordinary here. Health, health, that's fine. Um, some people, once you start to get higher up, they might run, like, you know, it's, you know, instead of health, they might run, like, offense, or they might run... You don't really need her to be, speed, like, speedy, especially once you get the Zeta on her. Right now, you're probably noticing a little bit of a drop-off without that Zeta. But, yeah, you know. Again, mods is one of those things where it's going to be really hard for you to nail down. And all health sets, that's what I like to see on General Kenobi. Um, some speed, health, hopefully. Yep, health percentages, sweet. Yes, you want big, big health pool on Kenobi. Okay, so this one you'd want a health percentage here, just so you're aware. And again, I would go with the health percentage if possible. And this one you can actually go with speed, but... Um, I prefer speed, to be honest. And, all right, let's see. So, Grandmaster Yoda, this is going to be an interesting one because I know I've given you advice in the past and you, you come out to my streams. Um, you probably have him modded for no speed, but underneath the Padme, that is actually the only time that you want him to have some speed. So, we'll see. Yep, you have him modded for offense. Okay. So, this would be the one thing that I change right now is uh, add a speed arrow here. Because of, uh, you you want him to be fast under this team, and there's no turn meter gain. So like, underneath the Padme lead, like he doesn't gain this forty percent turn meter, um, which kind of sucks. Like that's a lot of these spots. Like he, this is where he's gaining a ton of his turn meter, but he's not going to be gaining that underneath the Padme lead. So you kind of have to make him fast again. Um, I this is and this is why I don't think that Grandmaster Yoda is the most optimal spot for him. Uh, you very rarely ever see me put Grandmaster Yoda with Padme in, like, Grand Arena. However, in a squad arena sense, I did use him there, and I had to kind of remod that. 
But in most cases, um, whether it be Bastila lead or Jedi Knight Revan or anything like that. So I guess the the whole the whole thing that I'm trying to get at is for Grand Arena, if you're trying to split up your team, which your Padme team is strong enough, I don't think you need you you need Grandmaster Yoda, then you're probably fine leaving this mod set or like assigning a loadout and just kind of like before you lock in for Grand Arena, you have to just remember to change it out. Um to this set. But yeah, like if you are gonna run uh GMY underneath Padme, you do want speed. And unfortunately, like 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 I said, this is probably something where you caught some of my you know, you you're right on my streams pretty, pretty much daily. And uh you probably yeah, you got the offense cross here. Uh want crit damage here if possible. If you have some. I know it's hard to, to find some. Uh, rip some off from, from someone else. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, but yeah, other than that, man, like it looks really good. Your arena team has made a huge, huge jump. Okay, so when we did our last, or when we did our first roster review, I have the number written down here. You were 568k uh, GP. That's an impressive amount that you uh, grew. You grew, you know, almost 300k. Which is about right. I I kind of go with this premise that you should be growing about a mil point one um every year that you're in the game. Uh, and that that's kind of fluctuated a little bit because relics has added so much to GP. Um and but like at the same time not, like now it probably is even more now because like Galactic Challenge is coming out. Like, there's more ways to earn gear. There's more ways to earn shards. There's more ways to earn different things now in the game than there were, like, back when I first got my first 1 million. But, um, you know, back in the day, I used to say, like, 1 million per year. I'd say it's probably a little bit higher now. I'd say it's probably, like, 1.2 um, per year. About about 100K per, per month. Um especially in the early goings, like I think that's about right. Um, so you're right there with that. It seems it seems like your pacing is is really good. And um, so yeah, we'll just look at here. So what I told you last time too, so we, we already focused on Padme, we already focused on your, your separatists. What I told you last time is you need the fundamental teams now that you start, start building these guys. So um, it looks like you have made some progress here. You're starting your bounty hunter climb. Um, this is just super, super important because of uh, credit heist, because of training droids, because of territory wars, because of territory battles, because of, uh, I'm trying to think of like the, the galactic bounties or whatever, uh, rebel roundup. There's a ton of things that bounty hunters do, and it's important that you even if it's you're only getting a few of the you know tiers, or maybe you're only getting a few of the the thing, like the fact of the matter is right now you're getting none of that. So bounty hunters for you are gonna pay. It's an investment now, but it's gonna pay dividends for the rest of your account, right? I still get my five million credits that I need for my mod uh, upgrades um, for for bounty hunters. So this is a team where I told you to kind of bite the bullet. I know we've been talking about like you know like how to counter geos and stuff like that, and you know you've got this start of your empire, um, but you need to farm the shards for your bounty hunters. So I told you you know where you can sure farm gear, um, and you can throw that on these guys, um, and you know if you get the the an extra zeta, you know it's never gonna hurt if you throw one on palp, but again just because of how fundamental they are to building that good foundation for your roster i suggested that you have to go for bounty hunters and i think you'll be i think again like in the long run that's going to make the most sense beyond bounty hunters and beyond like empire you've kind of got a few ways that you can go with this now you can either go back and do cls which cls always seems to be com coming around it's not really gonna i don't think it's really gonna help you in arena um, but it'll give you another really great lead and another solid team as you start to, you know, get your bounty hunters up to get Chewbacca. Uh, you know, I'm sure you have uh, Chupio because you were around for that marquee. Um, so you, you have the start of a an, another solid team there. But 
with all that said about CLS, I would actually probably recommend you go with a raid team. I know it sounds like I'm probably very partial to Jedi Knight Revenants because I am. I think that he's such an amazing character. I still it is amazing to me. Like he might be the new CLS to me. Um, or the newer CLS. He's been out in the game for a while now, which is actually kind of astonishing to me. But he just kind of always is like comes back up. Like his hit, like in general, is just super, super broken. And the fact that like currently where I'm sitting right now, that I'm using Jedi Knight Revan leadership over a guy like Jedi Master Luke, um, a galactic legend, is it it should show you like how good his lead is and how good his kit is. So as we kind of, you know, like sit here and think about what we're going to do in the future, for me personally, for like your advice, I would say let's start farming up Old Republic after after the bounty hunters are done. Um, you know, let's start farming up Old Republic. You now will get your Jedi Knight Revan and that's going to be the way that you can start to score good raid damage, right? You're not going to be able to solo phases or anything like that with a, you know, a standard G12 uh, JKR um, team, but you're going to you're going to deal a good amount of damage and it's going to get you higher up in the ranks and it's going to get you to where, you know, like a lot of these things are going to make it easier for you um, to get better rewards and, you know, better rewards equals faster progress and stuff like that. So it all feeds into each other and his lead is just amazing. Um, I don't see any time where that kit is not going to be good. So go for Jedi Knight Revan. That's my recommendation to you after your bounty hunters, after, you know, maybe even you polish off a, a little bit of your your empire. Um, but overall, man, like really good job. Uh, um, again, amazing to see where you started from even just a few months ago and where you ended up. You've actually made a huge uh, amount of progress here. So. If you guys have any comments for him or any suggestions for him, be sure to hit up the comment section down below. Join the Discord if this is the kind of stuff that interests you guys, you know, whether you're talking about developing your roster or um, helping other people develop their rosters. Be sure to join our Discord. Uh, tons of questions are always asked in there. And so uh, thanks for watching, you guys, and uh, we'll, we'll see you guys next time.